Hello everyone, I'm back with another film review for you, and today I'm going to be taking a look at The First Omen, directed by Arkasha Stevenson, written by Stevenson and Tim Smith and Keith Thomas. This is a prequel, thankfully not a remake, but a, a prequel to the original 1976 The Omen, starring Gregory Peck about his son Damien, who is the Antichrist, and evil stuff happened uh, around him all the time. You know, people were worshipping him, and there was a lot of that satanic, you know, <laughs> you know, that kind of, like, <laughs> uh, singing going on. And uh, this movie is very faithful to that, this this new, the first omen, new picture. Uh, it is very good, and for what it is, you know, for what it's supposed to be, they did a fantastic job. It's not for the squeamish, I'd say. You know, there's, there's some... There's some moments in here <laughs> that uh, are, yeah, you know, just like the original Omen, you know, there's just quick moments of, of uh, oh, look away from the screen for a second, you know, kind of moments, which is great for a horror movie. Uh, by the way, I will not be spoiling this movie. I am just going to talk about what's in the trailers and the main basic plot, uh, which uh, basically uh, revolves around this woman, uh, Margaret, who arrives in uh, Italy at this uh, orphanage, and she's there to take her vows. You know, she wants to be a, a nun and everything. Um, and, um, well, uh, she finds this uh, strange girl uh, named uh, Sienna, and strange things start happening, and, okay, I won't talk too much about it, but uh, I will say that there's one character that does appear here uh, that did appear in the original film, and that is uh, Father Brennan. And uh, that's a character that was killed in the, in the original um, uh, film, The Omen. So very, very good to, to see some kind of a connection there, you know, to have that kind of Obi-Wan Kenobi kind of, <laughs> you know, prequel cool character there um, to kind of help the connection. I got to say that uh, uh, Nell Tiger Free is the name of the actress who plays Margaret. She's very, very good. She's got a lot to do here emotionally, certainly. A lot of characters do. Uh, there's a lot of creepy characters, and there's a lot of mm, enigmatic characters, some that, you know, are feeling kind of regretful for what they're doing, and some that uh, don't <laughs> regret what they're doing. Um, so it's a nice mix of different kinds of uh, characters that have different kinds of levels of conscience, you know, when it comes to religion, you know, and, and everything. Um, so... Okay, I you know I can't talk too much about this movie without spoiling stuff, right? So all I'm gonna say is that the directorial choices were very good. There's a couple of very good jump scares that you gotta watch out for. Uh, the characters are memorable. Uh, there are some uh, some uh, you know very very interesting characters here. Uh, one of which is a uh, a priest played by Bill Nighy. Uh, yeah. Big fan of, uh, of that actor. Very nice to see him here. Uh, and he does a great job as well. Um, so, yeah, there's just, woo, just a lot going on in this movie. I think you should see it for yourself. If you're into horror movies and if you, uh, you know, like the, the whole kind of idea of the birth of the Antichrist, you know, <laughs> the idea of it, which was the original film, um, you know, you definitely want to see kind of like the lead up to that. And... There are a couple of strange things, though, in this movie, I gotta say, uh, that I can't really talk about without spoiling it, but there's a couple of characters that didn't quite make sense by the end of the picture to me. I didn't really quite understand, you know, why they were there, and once they do what they're supposed to do, you know, they, they just kind of, you know, just get rid of these characters. I, I didn't really understand, you know, kind of why didn't they pursue more um, more information about a couple of characters. So it's got a bit of mystery to it. It does leave you with some questions. I'll give it that. It's definitely not going to be for everybody because, you know, <laughs> there are certain scenes, you know, like I said, that will make you go, ah, I can't watch this for a second, um, <laughs> you know, and some good jump scares, like I said, as well. So uh, that's the part that's worth it for me. Um, it, it's hard to say it's a great movie or anything, but it's certainly not a bad one. It's it, As far as horror movies go, you know, for what it is, for what it's selling, and, you know, it is quite good. So I'm going to give The First Omen a 7.5 out of 10. Yes, it is very much like the original Omen, very Rosemary's Baby. And uh, I couldn't help but think of, a, of those two, uh, you know, classic pictures uh, while watching this. But I thought that it, it, it did it 
you know, with respect, it did it justice to those kind of movies. So I thought, yeah, not bad, not too shabby overall. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for tuning into this quick review. And until next time, peace.